Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah A question was asked Assalamu alaikum akhi Have you studied with uh, Sheikh Abu Umar or Abu Amr Abdul Karim al-Hajuri while you were in Damaj? If so, is his creed correct? Because a couple of brothers and I were planning to go to Khartoum, Sudan where he's currently based at the moment Is it okay for us to study under the Sheikh? What do you think? First and foremost, I would say, I have to say that I'm not familiar uh, with him as far as having listened to him or know of any of his lessons or anything like that. Um, and I was in the Maj for a short period of time and a long time ago before he was probably even known or probably known more as a student of knowledge because at that time, mainly the main big Mashaikh that were known at the time uh, and which was the time of Imam Muqbil Rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatin wasi'ah uh, and of course Sheikh uh, Yahya al-Hujuri was uh, running him and Sheikh Muqbil were running the Mesh Sheikh Muqbil was and then but Sheikh Yahya was doing a lot more teaching because of Sheikh Muqbil's health and then and of course in Sana'a there was Sheikh Muhammad uh, al-Sumali and in Ma'bar there was Sheikh Muhammad al-Imam and in Hudayda, there was Sheikh um, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab al Wasabi, and Sheikh uh, Abdurrahman Adani. I think at that time might have been between Damaj and before he went to start Fayush, I believe, or when it was new. And anyhow, uh, that was a long time ago. So, with that being said, as far as Sheikh Abu Amr, Abdul Karim, I would say that you need to ask those brothers who, in more contemporary times, who've come out of the Maj. And one of the people that I would suggest that I know uh, that is a beneficial talib al-ilm, that can um, probably definitely can direct you in that sense, would be uh, um, the brother Abu Taymiyyah. And if you have a way to contact him, that would be excellent uh, in order to ask him about uh, Abu Amr. And another piece of advice I would say that if you're going to go to Sudan, that is great to go to Sudan and study with a Yemeni sheikh. But however, the Sudanese have their own mashaykh. And there's well-known Mashaykh of Ahl Sunnah that are known there to the people and known to the Mashaykh here in Saudi and other places. So uh, I'm sure that there's plenty of opportunities and I've met many students of knowledge from Sudan over the years and who are some who are Mashaykh and who there are known Mashaykh there. However, since I've never been, I'm not familiar with uh, names or where to point you. However, I would say if you are going to study Arabic, first you're going to need the tools. You're going to, going to need to study Arabic first. And so it may be wise to get into one of the universities there like Umdurman, uh, um uh, the, the university. Um, they have a well-known Islamic university there. Um, I can't think of the name right now, but there are many opportunities obviously because Sudan is an Arabic speaking country so I would say that you will definitely gain benefit if that's what your intention is and you'll have the opportunity to study with ulama of Ahl Sunnah as well so that is the advice that I can offer you and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad